everybody. Uh, this is Charles Harper, and we have been looking at Amazon recently in our newsletter and in my correspondence to you, and we have been talking about the fact that Amazon most recently uh, made public that they're going to limit, uh, I guess, or have you disclose if you're going to be using AI when you're creating Kindle books, and if you are using it maybe to create the images in those Kindle books, and that's going to be a bit of a shift. And it's one of those shifts that I think we should be anticipating, you know, as online marketers specifically, that we're going to be using content and we're going to be using content to market, however you're doing that. And so if you're on any platform, let's say you're on, you know, maybe you're on Udemy, uh, whether you're, you know, doing search on Google, I think we should probably anticipate that, you know, these things are going to change and they're going to change probably without warning. And I'm pretty sure that people who have uploaded content to Amazon, they probably didn't anticipate that they would change. And and maybe, you know, you probably have accounted for that. You know, if you're if you're using AI to create Kindle books, uh, maybe you've already accounted for that. You know, maybe you've already thought through that. But it all goes back to really building your business on a solid foundation. And some of the things that we talked about at the beginning of the year, we talked about the fact that, during this calendar year, you should be doubling down on building your personal and professional network, whatever that looks like, uh, making sure that you are multiplying the number of affiliates you have, that you are multiplying the number of people that you can partner with, that you are multiplying the number of people who know about what it is that you produce, doubling down on those things, doubling down on your audience and your list, making sure that you're doubling down on engagement, giving them something to understand that who you are in the marketplace and so, um, and, and then finally positioning, right? You know, we've always been talking about positioning yourself as an educator in your market and trying to get to a place where you are kind of staking your claim, where you are getting to the position where you want to be, and you've decided what your USP is going to be, that you're positioning yourself to be the one person that can provide what it is that, you know, you have decided in your particular marketplace, those are the things that I think you need to be doubling down on as opposed to really relying on business models strictly related to AI. And, and again, uh, I'm not saying that, you know, you, you don't or you shouldn't be using AI. In fact, and I think you should be doing it, but it needs to serve those purposes. It needs to serve the purpose of your market position. It needs to serve the purpose of building your audience and your list and, and you know, and, and really um, engaging them. It needs to serve the purpose of you building out your professional and personal network. Those are the things that ultimately are going to give you the power whether or not these platforms change, and they are going to change. They are going to change their position. They're going to decide that, you know, it's going to be profitable for them to disallow it in some places and allow it in other places. So you should not think that they are going to continue just to allow it to be free, that they're just going to allow you to have access to you know, their platforms, and you're just going to generate all this content w without thinking. And so we, we, we've got to be a little smarter than that, and most of us are, and most of the people who are listening to this, I'm pretty sure that you understand what things are going to look like now and in the future. And this, you might find that this is kind of a recurring theme with me that you want to be building out these elements of your business all of the time and really focused in on those things. And this is one of the things that we talk about in being an ultimate insider, that you want to position yourself in one market as an educator. And basically, regardless of what happens, you should be building out that position. You should be taking a place where you're going to try to get to a, to a, to a market position where you're the only one right, that does one specific aspect of things that customers want. And that might take some time to do. It might take some effort and some iterations and some, uh, you know, some trial and error. I think those are going to be the things that will keep, your, keep you and your business over time. And, again, if you, if you can figure out how to get AI in order to help you to serve that purpose, that will ultimately be, you know, the, you know, the position where you want to be. And really, that's it for today, and I hope that that has been helpful for you. And I want to encourage you to make sure that you know, you're getting the, the most recent of our content. You can always get that at the PLRshow.com forward slash new. 
And the best we have to offer is always going to be for you to become an ultimate insider, and you can do that at the PLRshow.com forward slash insiders. And with that, thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day and a pleasant tomorrow. Take care. Thank you.